this video I will show you how to design such a part in FreeCAD. I will start a new project in the part design module and I will start by creating a sketch. And I will create the sketch on the XY plane and at the beginning make sure that you have selected automatic constraints and automatic removal of redundant constraints. And now we are going to start by drawing a rectangle and we are going to draw a rectangle in such a way that the longer side of this rectangle coincides with the X axis. And to do this we need to place the first corner of the rectangle on the X axis. As this axis is highlighted in yellow then we click and we place the second point more or less here. And now right click to cancel the drawing of the rectangle and now we place this rectangle symmetrically about the Y axis. OK. And let's add the rounds at the corners of the rectangle. Let's add the dimensions of this radii, 10 mm, OK. And let's add the equality constraint. Then I will create two circles whose centers will coincide with the centers of these arcs. OK. And a diameter of 8 mm. And I'll add an equality constraint here and now I'm moving on to dimensioning the shape. OK. And the second dimension. OK. The sketch is fully constrained, fully dimensioned. Click close to exit the sketch. And now based on this sketch we will add an extrusion of 10 mm. OK. And now we are going to create a second piece of this solid and in this case we can also use the standard sketch plane. And we will use the XZ plane to create the second fragment of this solid. So this plane is selected. OK. Here I'm going to immediately switch to section view and add the reference geometry. And so I will start by drawing a circle whose center will coincide with the Y axis. Then I will draw any two lines. OK. And now I will add the constraint of this point to this circle, this point to this circle and the constraint of this point to this line and this point with this line. OK. And I added these constraints so that this line is tangent to this circle at this point and this line is tangent to this circle at this point and so that the ends of both these lines lie on this line. And here we will need to draw a line that will close this shape because when it comes to sketches in FreeCAD on the basis of which we create a solid, these sketches must be closed geometries and they must not intersect. Here in this case this sketch is not yet correct but we will adjust it in a moment. Just draw another circle here. We are going to go to dimensioning. I'm going to add the dimension of this circle. Then the dimension of this circle, OK. And the distance of this point from this edge. OK. And even though this sketch is green and fully constrained, fully dimensioned, we won't be able to create an extrusion based on such a sketch. There will be an error here because this geometry kind of intersects with this geometry here. And when it comes to sketches in FreeCAD the sketch must be a geometry from which we can create a single closed shape. To fix this simply remove this edge. OK. And now on the basis of such geometry we can add an extrusion and we add an extrusion like this. OK. Next I switch to the wireframe view. I'm going to select with the control key these edges and I'm going to add a rounding here with a radius of 5 mm. OK. And I'll add a chamfer to these edges. OK. 
I'm going to go back to the as is view and this is how we created such a solid. But here let's pay attention to one more thing, very often in the case of 3D modeling in FreeCAD, if we create a 3D model in stages, as in this case we created the first stage then added another stage of this solid, such a connecting line is created, and often the question arises that just one single solid has not been created, but two separate solids. This solid is one single solid, this line is just here, but we can turn off the visibility of this line. See that here in this example, this line is not there, and here it actually looks like one single solid. In this case it may cause you to wonder that these solids are separate solids, but to turn that off, to turn off the visibility of this line, just go to the last operation and here in the refine parameter you need to change the value to true. And now this line is no longer visible and you can no longer see this joining of these two solid segments. I will return here for a moment to the state to which this joining line is visible, that is I will change this parameter to false and so the fact that this line here is in the most cases will not interfere with anything. If for example we export a model in which this line is visible to STL format and then on the basis of this model we want to make a print on a 3D printer, then this line will not interfere at all. And if you want to save such a model in for example step format and send it to someone who works in another CAD system, this line will probably be visible and the person who opens the model may wonder just what this line is and whether these solids are not separate solids. But you already know how to turn off the visibility of this line, therefore it is better to simply turn it off so that this line is not visible and so that you don't have to unnecessarily wonder what this line is about and whether these solids are joined or not joined. And if you want to turn this setting on permanently so that this line is not visible, go to the edit menu, preferences and here go to part, part design and here check these two options. So that this refine options is changed to true for operations based on the sketch and for logical operations such as adding and subtracting solids. I will leave these options unchecked so that during future recordings if this line appears to simply pay attention to it because very often there are questions about this issue. And ok, that was such a simple example and we will end here and if you would like to learn more about 3D modeling in FreeCAD I encourage you to check out the other videos on this channel or you can also take my FreeCAD training for beginners which I link to in the description to this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.